Well now into its seventh season, three series Both Worlds follows a diverse group of Kiwi change makers as they seek to transform their communities and gain a greater understanding of their place in the world. 17-year-old William Rakina features in the first ep. They originally on the wrong path. He managed to turn his life around and has just represented New Zealand at the World International Hip Hop Competition in the US. Creative producer Kate Pryor is here to tell us more about the series as well as William's story. Welcome, Kate. Hi there. Really nice to have you here. Uh, this is your first year working on the show. Uh, seventh season, though. It's pretty yeah, impressive. Yeah. So tell us about what it's all about. So Both Worlds, uh, yeah, it focuses on young people who reflect the diversity of Aotearoa and young change makers, people that are making change to their own world, but also often they're exploring their own cultural identity as well. And how do you find these people? Because some of the stories that I've seen are just incredible. Yeah. Thank you for sharing them. But how do you find them? <laughs> well, it's kind of amazing. I mean, this is my first season working as a creative producer on the show, but um, it's been going for seven seasons. So there is a real network of young people that we've worked with. Um, also, this year, yeah, me and my director Karina, we really wanted to focus on certain areas. So we um, really wanted, we knew we really wanted to look for some environmentalists, some young environmentalists, um, some young politically engaged um, people. So we really, um, we we had some areas that we, didn't, we knew we wanted to look. Had into. a little me that you wanted to pick yeah, and choose yeah. from. Nice. <laughs> now tell us a little bit about William and William's story. He's the first step, isn't it? He is. Yeah, yeah, he's the first step coming up. So he's William's amazing. He has had huge transformation in his life. He when he was nine or ten, he was out stealing cars he was in the wrong crowd and just not surrounding himself with the himself with the best influences and he has now just this weekend performed at the um, world hip-hop championships in Phoenix Arizona and wow. and they came so he was in a crew um, called young ID and they came six out of 50 teams that's amazing yeah so crumpings basically saved Williams life you know I've, I've seen the first F and there's a really nice scene where he's talking to his mate he's so inspirational isn't yeah, he? yeah he's he's an amazing young leader you you know, he was, he's always been a leader and now he's a really positive leader. Um, but interestingly, yeah, Crump is uh, the journey that he follows in our Both Worlds episode, but hip hop, he's always been a hip hop dancer. So yeah. Crump is a whole new area for him. Should we take a look? Yeah. yeah. How does that sound? My name is William Rockiner. I like live and breathe dance. Crump makes me feel more free to express how I feel. Oh yeah, bro, do, do you think I could, you know, take part in the battle? You don't want to go and rush in and like, you know what you're doing. Right now, I'm still, you know, a rookie. It's a nice big night, man. But do you know what you're really doing? Wow, that looks so awesome. What yeah. a great story too. So what are some of the other stories that we're going to be seeing? So we're focusing on amazing young um, rapper Jess B. Um, she, is, she goes on a journey to find her own Kenyan heritage to really explore that. Um, we look at a young cook called uh, Ruby White who has an amazing um, cafe called Small Fry at Tetuhi out in Pakuranga. She uh, has an amazing background. Her family in Malaysia had a noodle house for 80 years and she wants to learn this very specific type of noodle and do a pop-up restaurant for that. Wow. Um, and also we have a dancer called Jacob Tamata who is a dancer with um, uh, indigenous arts collective Vaf Swag. Uh, he, wants to he wants to create a, a Vogue show at first his first show that he directs so it's a real spectrum of talent that we focus on wow. and something I've noticed too the the subjects they pick up the cameras themselves a yeah. lot as well so you're really getting their vulnerability aren't you yeah that's what I love about both worlds it really um, the the young people drive their own story and 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 in their own way which is yeah you're really in there with them I and the great it, thing yeah. too is that you'll be seeing these stories and if we look back on them maybe in even five or ten years <laughs> you'll see where these people started because a lot of them are going to go, they're going to really go places, aren't they? Yeah, amazingly. They, these are the young people that are really, you know, creating their own futures. And we, what's so fantastic about the storytelling is we're really in there when they're making those first decisions. And it's amazing to see that um, progress. It's going to be exciting. Oh, yeah. so good. Hey, thank you for joining us today. Thank you. Well, don't miss the premiere of Both Worlds' seventh season this Sunday, 11am on 3. Yeah, great New Zealand stories told beautifully. <laughs>